Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to share with you 12 eyeshadow palettes in my collection that remind me of fall. I saw Amy from the channel Dolly Mama Beauty do this video and I was so excited that she came back to filming to film that video that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film that one too. So this is definitely inspired by Amy who took inspiration um, from another YouTuber and things like that and I just, I'm super excited to film this because I am somebody who absolutely loves fall. And that might sound ridiculous because I live in Arizona but I can't help it, I love fall. I love it, it's my favorite. Um, yeah, even though fall in Arizona doesn't really start until December. And then we have like a week of winter. It's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this and talk about the eyeshadow palettes in my collection that remind me of fall. The first one that I have here is an oldie but goodie, a classic eyeshadow palette here on YouTube. The <laughs> This is definitely a palette that YouTube made me buy, but it definitely reminds me of fall. And that is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is what that beauty looks like. I've used it quite a bit as you guys can see, but it just has those warm, rich kind of tones that fall kind of embodies. It's, it has the, the reds, the browns, the rusty oranges, the golds, all kind of the hues that you kind of see in the leaves as they change and things. And that is why I love this pal palette for fall and I'm so glad that I still have it in my collection and that I can still use it. Then we have the Saharan by Juvia's Place. This is what this one looks like. It's kind of a grungier version of the modern renaissance in a sense. Um, it, but it has kind of those same kind of tones. But my favorite shade is this one right here. This is Kia. It is a beautiful kind of like brown blue kind of shifty shade and I really really like that shade in this palette but I also like that you can go for a much more traditional kind of fall look with this palette or you can like grunge it up which I'm more likely to go the grungy way <laughs> when it comes to fall makeup so this is definitely kind of a staple palette for fall in my collection. Then we have one that Amy mentioned, and this is one that I have had in my collection and I bought it completely because it is definitely a fall palette, but it is the Solar Flare palette by BH Cosmetics. Oh, look at that. See, for me, fall has this kind of deep grungy kind of purple and these kind of moody brown tones and just these goldy goldy tones i mean she even said it she goes it could be more of like a sunrise palette but you know you could use it in different ways but i really like this for fall and it really kind of reminds me of fall especially this fireball shade and then the shade um gamma ray right here i also like this kind of burgundy here, but like burgundy, purples, um, rusty kind of oranges and things like that really remind me of fall. And I love this palette and it is their baked formula. I absolutely love BH Cosmetics baked eyeshadow formula for the most part, especially in these. And um, I need to get some more use out of this for sure. <laughs> then we have the fall palette of all fall palettes in my opinion and from a brand that I absolutely love and that is the Fall Fusion palette by Blush Tribe which I'm kind of hoping that they bring back for fall. I haven't really seen anything but this is a very fall palette. They put in a deep kind of blue shade, this pink, like it all goes towards kind of those fall vibes, especially the shimmers. I love the shimmers in this palette. I've talked about these two shades. I like the aubergine shade. I'm not a huge fan of the Angelica shade. I feel like it is very patchy, but every other matte shade in here I do absolutely love. Eee, fall, I'm so excited. <laughs> and then we have one that I think will surprise people that this one kind of reminds me more of fall or maybe it won't. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but that is the Wants palette. Um, the Emily edit, the Wants palette with Makeup Revolution. 
And I'm trying to not blind you guys with the giant mirror, but that is what it looks like. And this to me is kind of a nice kind of staple fall palette just because it has much more of those like richer tones and deeper, darker. Like I think in the camera, it's showing them a little brighter than they actually kind of translate in the palette. But the greens in here and the browns and the kind of orangey and red shades kind of really bring me to fall. I especially love the greens in here and I like to wear those shades quite a bit. But this kind of is like a softer fall palette in a sense. It's not as boom in your face fall as say some of the other ones. So if this is a palette you have in your collection and you're not somebody who likes to go very, very big and bold all the time and be like, look at me, I have fall on my eyes this would definitely be a good palette. I mean, it's a good palette year round, but I really do tend to gravitate towards it as it gets to fall and as we wear those, you know, more yellow uh, rust kind of sh uh, shades. Then we have a palette that I made myself. And I made this out of a bunch of different single shadows. There's everything from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics, ColourPop, The Shade Beauty, um, there's a lot in here. There's, but this is my kind of ultimate fall palette. I kind of took all of the reds, oranges, yellows, deeper purple shades and kind of put them into a palette. And I really want to play with this palette on my channel. If you guys would like to see me use this collection of single shadows to kind of create a look here on my channel, please comment down below that you would like to see it or even just give this video a like no, um, to kind of t let me know that you guys want to see me play with this. I really love the combination of colors. I've played with it a few times off camera and I really kind of want to play with the shimmery shades in here because a lot of them are from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics and they have kind of unique kind of duochromes in them. And then a lot of the mattes are, you know, those berry brown kind of tones. And I, I'm i super excited to have created this in my collection I, because I don't quite have these shades in one palette other than what I've done with a single um eyeshadow palette here so yeah I'm very kind of proud of it let me know what you think of it down below in the comments <laughs> then we have the bad habit retro love palette which was a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette this the subculture palette in general is a very very fall palette I didn't pick it up because I was like concerned about the formula and if I was gonna like it I didn't know if I was gonna like how powdery it was and just all the mixed reviews and I even went and swatched it in store and wasn't quite sure but I love the color story so I did go ahead and pick up a dupe palette of it and I really do find this kind of grungy kind of color scheme is more fall to me than anything else and I really 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 do like it. I like the richness of some of the shades and just the the overall grunge factor of it. So that is one palette that is really grungy that I really do enjoy and I kind of wish I had picked up the subculture palette in some instances and then other times I'm like you know what I'm good I don't need it I'm fine. The next one is an all shimmer palette and this is the, this is from Crown, um, Crown Brushes. This is the Glam Metals palette and this is what it looks like. This to me is kind of a very kind of fall because it has more of those, those fall tones, especially with this Wild Thing shade and then Rebel here. Um, I also kind of like the more like bronzy gold shades for fall. Um, so rock on definitely, or these kind of brown bronzy shades. Um, when I do fall kind of makeup looks, I go more for that, um, especially with oranges and things. I think it really, really looks well. So this is definitely a staple fall palette. I mean, I've had this palette for at least two years now and I kind of refuse to get rid of it. Then we have one that is newer to my collection and this is the Pat McGrath Labs Eye Ecstasy Sublime Palette. I hate this packaging. Um, this is what that looks like. This to me 
these are very fall shades very very fall i mean you could also rock them probably around christmas but this is just kind of fall it has that kind of burgundy red the deeper darker kind of brown shades and then the goldy bronze shade here i absolutely love playing with these my favorite shade in this of all time is this shade right here which i believe is called sinful i absolutely love it but I want to play with this more and I'm super excited to have some Pat McGrath eyeshadows in my collection and I'm very kind of fond of how these are working out so far. There's a little hint to a review. <laughs> then we have the Alomar Cosmetics palette and I love, 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 love using this for fall. I The blue might not necessarily fit into fall but the rest of the shades really kind of do and really kind of bring me back to fall especially if I just go with the mattes and create one look out of those. That is just screaming fall to me and then use like the gold shade here on my lid. It's just it's fall <laughs> it's a it's a hand turkey on your eyes <laughs> because every time you do hand turkeys it's kind of these colors it really is so now every time i see this um a friend at work said that to me she's like that alomar palette's like what we do with the kids when we're making hand turkeys and it really is it really is it's a hand turkey on your eyes there you go what's more fall than that a hand turkey gobble gobble <laughs> And then we have the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. I don't know any other palette that screams more fall to me in my collection. I mean, yes, a lot of these scream fall to me. But this one, the second I saw it, I was like, that is, that that's fall. Like, what other time are you going to wear that eyeshadow palette? You have to wear it during the fall. And, um... I've played with this quite a few times in the last few weeks, and I really, really like this one. I like the formula of this better than my Dark Magic palette. I haven't tried the other two in the vault, and I don't think I'm going to. This was purchased um, by my mother for me a while ago, and I have just been kind of using it and really kind of liking how the mattes and the shimmers work, and so, and it's perfect, 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 perfect for fall. Then the final palette is also one that I have in common with Amy uh, from Dolly Mama Beauty. Her channel, by the way, will be linked down below as well as her video. Please go check her out, give her some love. She is a fantastic YouTuber who I would like to see post a lot more because my YouTube friends seem to be vanishing. The ones that I started with and that worries me. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but this is the Tribe Palette by Juvius. And this, oh, it is so fall. And she is so right. It does look like the greens are from like an acorn squash and just, just this muted kind of yellow brown and the orange tones and the green. It's like the leaves are changing on this palette. And I absolutely love this palette for fall. It is one that I will be using. You will see me use it um, in a few videos coming up and just different things because I need to play with it more. I recently picked it up and when I say recent, sometimes it's been like a couple months since I got it, but that's recent for me, especially since I picked up so many palettes at one time. It was just insane. But I wanted to kind of show you these palettes to kind of inspire you guys to play with your collection, see what you have that goes with the seasons coming up. I don't always do seasonal makeup. I kind of wear whatever I want, but once it gets to fall, I find myself really wearing and being drawn to those fall colors. Occasionally I'll pull a neon look or something crazy, but typically it's more grungy kind of fall looks because I absolutely enjoy those. Well, if you guys like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel so that you can see more content like this and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Thanks again and bye